Hey, hi there, you guys, Pisces. Welcome to your general forecast. Krauss Watcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. And remember to check out your moon and rising and Venus sign videos. For a more complete picture, my readings, they do meld together. Today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Waite deck, one card from the Wisdom of the Oracle, and I'd also like to thank you guys for supporting my channel. The likes and the subscribes and the comments, they really help me out a lot. Thank you, Pisces. Here's your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Well, here's your card, Pisces. Could be also be a Cancer or a Scorpio. This is someone that is mono emotionally mature. It's someone that is cool and calm under pressure, and they do better when they do not get caught up in other people's pettiness. They're caring and sensitive. They're composed and wise and calm. This person could be a healer, a counselor. They're reliable and they have a positive outlook. They could be interested in the arts. They could be a creative type. This is someone that comes through when you need them. You can count on them. This person is a wonderful counselor and advisor. They're very careful and empathetic and understanding. A very good listener. They're very well liked. And they may live an alternative lifestyle. They're sensitive and self-possessed. They're cool under pressure. Gentle and trustworthy. They're compassionate and self-sacrificing. This is someone that can be controlling or concealing emotions. They may be meditating, diffusing tense situations, counseling, ministering, intuiting others' needs. This is someone that keeps confidences and they provide emotional support from a position of strength. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, Pisces. More water energy. The Page of Cups. And it, it seems as though people are starting to go with the flow. In love these days, there's more cups showing up in the readings. They've just started to. This Page of Cups... This can be a challenge. This may be a message. Could be slow to come in, but it's worth it. This is someone that might be distrustful or fearful of being hurt in this position. They might be resistant to explore emotions or psychic material. They might be unwilling to start a relationship because they feel like there's obstacles. They may have little desire to create. This can also be a deception that could be soon uncovered. It might be unpleasant news. This can also be an impulse of action or Doing, any, doing anything you want without the thought to consequences. It could be even seduction. So be careful of whom you give your trust to. And strive for more emotional independence. The King of Cups with the Page of Cups is a diplomatic message and dreaming of better things. Here's your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of, Pisces. This can also be your attitude. Four of Pentacles, Earth Energy. This is Capricorn Energies. You can have Capricorn in your chart or dealing with someone that has Capricorn. This is the Lord of Earthly Power. It's holding on and being defensive and being in your comfort zone. Someone being cautious. They're trying to save and be stable and conserve. They could be protecting their money. Their boundaries. This can be a fixed attitude. 
and then that would limit and block new opportunities. Your foundation is firm, but maybe you feel like you're stuck in a rut. This could be someone that's in danger of becoming too stingy or holding on too much to feelings and not letting go. So the advice is to go with the flow and relax about something you're protective about and take a risk and get things moving again. Because holding back, then nothing is ventured and then nothing is gained. Someone is keeping something in. They might be being stubborn or holding on to what they know. They're being financially stable and frugal, self-protective. They're holding on. It could be to money or energy, conserving energy or resources. This can be someone claiming ownership or protecting investments. And it's looking out for yourself and clinging to security. So security and control are uppermost in your thoughts at this time. The King of Cups with the Four of Pentacles are emotions that are being kept in. This can be someone generous and secure in their emotions. Your fourth card is a card of the future, the outcome, the results, and the advice. Pisces, you've got number eight of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, Strength. This card is ruled by the sun. This could be a Leo. You could have Leo in your chart or dealing with a Leo. Represents someone loyal. This is an irrevocable fate card. And that sideways figure eight, the cosmic lemon skate, represents infinite potential and wisdom. Number eight is the number of self-love. This is courage and determination and inner strength. It's a test of fortitude and self-control. With love, this is passionate love. And for career, it's doing what you are passionate about. It's inner belief in yourself and the correct use of personal power to overcome problems and obstacles. It can be passion and lust, a strong desire. It's raw feelings that are put into check. Otherwise, it's destructive. It's a time when faith in yourself will pay off. And you've come through some severe trials and triumphed. And your inner drives are in harmony with your outer needs. And your instinctive nature supports all that you do or hope to do. This is being strong in spirit and self-disciplined, a survivor. It's showing grace under pressure and holding steady despite challenges. It's controlling fear. It's loving with boundaries intact. It's taming baser instincts and desires and forgiving. It tells us not to fear our emotions and to allow negative feelings to come out in a positive way. It's moral courage and fortitude. It's a force of character. It's spiritual power overcoming material power. It's love triumphing over hate, the higher nature over carnal desires. It's becoming strong in spirit. There may be some resistance, and there's quiet confidence instead of dominance. There's inner strength to accept yourself and openness instead of determination. Gentleness can hold a greater strength. So reach deep to pull up your inner strength when you're facing adversity and meet it with love and compassion. This is feeling the fear and doing it anyway. King of Cups with a Strength card is holding back. It can also represent a non-romantic relationship that will be successful. This can be a healer, even a dentist. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen is because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this Pisces. The Three of Cups. Water energy. This is Mercury in Cancer. This is a really good card. A card of celebrating cooperation with others. This is healing and abundance. It's being in a positive growth pattern and something has been completed. There's people being together, being able to share and enjoy the moment and share experiences. 
This can be a stronger commitment between two people or a circle of friends. It could be celebrating a birth or an engagement or a wedding or reunions. It's a positive group experience with delight and a happy occasion. It can be lunch or drinks after work. It's having emotional breakthroughs and extending goodwill. It's growing and thriving in friendships. Could even be finding a new love. The King of Cups with the Three of Cups is a strong friendship. It's understanding the happy emotions of those around you. The Page of Cups with the Four of Pentacles is wanting to hold on to fresh new feelings. It's emotional possessiveness, and it's the feeling of possessiveness. The Page of Cups with the Strength card is strong emotions. It's standing strong against emotional manipulation. The Page of Cups with the Three of Cups is dreaming of celebration and new friendships. It could be dreaming of a reunion or a get-together. The Four of Pentacles with the Strength card is being passionate about what you are holding on to. It could be business, investments, or someone who is a keeper. The Four of Pentacles with the Three of Cups is clinging to lots of joyful feelings. This can be a secure connection, a frugal partnership, or someone being cautious at gatherings. The Strength card with the Three of Cups is being the heart of the group. Here's your Oracle card from The Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron reed Card number one, Pisces, Yang. Card number one, Yang. The masculine principle of movement and creative activity, the power to make things happen, and taking action. The Oracle's message is, Yang represents the power of action, the energies that propel the world forward, and manifesting thought and desire into concrete form. Now is the perfect time to act, for you can easily build momentum and make headway. What you want will come to fruition if you pr proceed confidently. This card signifies new life and a sure sign that obstacles have been overcome. There is no reason to hesitate. You are the shaper of your destiny now. Thanks, you guys, Pisces. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.